Hey, how's it going guys? This is Dave2D. So the 12 inch MacBook from 2015, really nice looking device, but it was geared towards a specific type of user. Not everyone could make it fit into their lives. Same thing goes for the 2016 model though. It's been updated, but a lot of it remains identical. It's got the same aluminum body with incredibly high build quality, probably the best in the business. It still has an awesome display with pretty much quad HD resolution, great viewing angles, good screen brightness, and pretty good color accuracy. The 480p webcam that people love to hate on is still there. I think it's weird that they didn't change this. The keyboard is also unchanged. It uses the same shallow butterfly switches that took a while for me to get used to, but I've grown to like it a lot. The Force Touch trackpad is unchanged. It's one of the best trackpads out there, and it still has fantastic speakers. I think it's the best speakers in this class of laptop. And most importantly, and kind of surprisingly, it still has one port for everything, including charging, USB connections, and outputs for displays. If you're looking for an adapter, this is by far the best one I've used. Good number of ports, it doesn't overheat, and it has USB-C pass-through, so you can charge it while you're using it. There's a link below if you want it. So the refresh hasn't changed at all aesthetically, except it now comes in rose gold. So I was actually interested in rose gold. I was gonna get it. I saw it in person and I chickened out. You might have bigger balls, but I highly recommend checking it out in person before you commit to buying it, because really, it's a really large slab of pink to be carrying around. The things that have changed. First, the processors are slightly faster. They now run Skylake chips. And for the Core M3, Geekbench pegs it to be around 15% faster. Most of that speed boost actually comes from the increased memory bandwidth and memory clock speed. The drive speeds have also improved. They were reasonably fast last year, but this year's model is definitely a step up. The thing is, unless you're opening massive applications or importing a ton of photos, this speed increase isn't that pronounced. I mean, it looks big, but regular computer usage like emailing and web browsing and just media consumption, all of those things feel pretty similar on the new drive, maybe like five to 10% faster at best. The other spec bump is the integrated graphics. So these Skylake chips have the HD 515 graphics chips, for gaming, you're still only able to play lightweight titles, but they run quite a bit smoother than last year's MacBook that used the HD 5300. So with Counter-Strike Go, you can hit like 45, 50 frames per second. This is with everything turned down to lowest settings. And for MOBAs like Dota or Heroes of the Storm, you'll hit like 40, maybe 45 frames per second when you're laning. So it's still not a gaming machine, like far from it. But if you have one and you want to play something light, it's not bad. The HD 515 doesn't accelerate much else though, so it's not noticeable in Adobe Premiere or even in Adobe Lightroom, unless you're using like the develop module. So even though the new graphics chip is nice, it's not really noticeable for most applications. The graphics chip from last year's MacBook could only push an external 4K display at 30 Hertz. The HD 515 can theoretically push it out at 60 Hertz, but the USB 3.1 port is still first generation. There's no Thunderbolt 3, so there's not enough bandwidth for 60 Hertz, and there's not enough bandwidth for an external GPU connection if that's what you were looking for. In terms of their thermals, they're basically identical. Now keep in mind that this is the Core M3, which is like the base model. I can't speak about the Core M5 or the Core M7, but in terms of the base model, they are essentially identical to last year. The physical battery size is the same, but it packs a little bit more juice. And when you combine that with the improved efficiency of the Skylake chips, you get like 10% more battery life. The price hasn't changed and I'm a little bit surprised, but if you look around in the refurbished section of the Apple store, you can get the 2015 models for like 15% off. That's not bad. Okay, the 2016 MacBook. A lot of stuff hasn't changed. So like the price, the single port, the webcam. If those were deal breakers before, they probably still are. The performance has improved a little bit and the graphics chip is nice for some users, but unless you're playing games or like you're really jonesing for a pink one, I think a used or a refurbished 2015 model is a better value. That's the end of this video. Hope you guys liked it. Give me some thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. It's been nice. I'll see you guys next time.